Nancy, did you have a, did you have any comments, or did you want to, Mr. Collins? Um, well, Mr. Stokinger just left. Maybe he's the best person that can answer this. But it, about, uh, you know, what would the increase be in the budget for for such a position? I guess I, maybe my question to Mr. Bila would be: Was the intent of the motion to be a a full time employee with with benefits, or is this a Not to, not to, uh, Mr. Collins. I, I mean, I would say uh, that's a question for, for Dr. Metzler. You know, what does he need? What's the need? Dr. Metzler. At this point, I'll let Mr. Stokinger uh, begin to start to explain the additional work that was not the work of this office in any previous years, and as it continues uh, to increase over time. Uh, you know the volume is just um, is considerable. I know he has an example here that he's going to share with you. Okay. Um, I believe I made reference at the last meeting to the additional work um, that was put upon the office a few years ago to administer the annuities that our thousand plus employees have the right to participate in. Um, that was a significant increase in work. Um, it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I guess it wasn't heard. Um, previous to the change in IRS regulations a number of years ago, 403Bs and 457Bs, annuities for nonprofits and governmental agencies, were basically between the employee and their investment house. The employer had nothing to do with it. The IRS changed their regulations to be much more like a 401k that private industry would have, where it's really the employer's plan that the employee then participates in. That provided a significant amount of extra work to every school district in New Hampshire. There were numerous meetings for business officials and HR officials. Everybody went out to a third party administrator, and that's one of the costs in our contracted services. Luckily, a lot of the investment houses pick up the fees that are incurred. Um, so that was a significant amount of work, and nobody came to these meetings and whined and complained. We sucked it up. But there's been a, a number of, of uh, little things like that, and you keep sucking it up and doing the work. But Recently, the last num two years, there's been an awful lot of rhetoric about the health trust refund. This is the detail, for instance, that Mrs. Danahy has to go through. Every employee for multiple years and every plan and every participant, Mrs. Danahy has to go through and scrub this data to see what plan the employee was in, how much the employee paid, how much the employee is due for a refund and what's left that belongs to the district and the taxpayers. This is the printout that Mrs. Danahy did for each category to begin her work. Now this is in her spare time between administering to over a thousand employees and I don't know how many hundred retirees that want to call up and chit chat and you know pass the time of day and ask a question about, no offense to retirees, <laughs> um, want to have some information about their, their benefits or their Medicare or, and they like Mrs. Danahy and I know on occasion she'll get a, a thank you note or a little flower after I see some people shuffle out of her office. But in her spare time, she's, uh, you're not headed to that, are you? No. <laughs> uh, but the, uh, this, uh, this is the type of thing that, that this office is <coughs> tasked to do and, and you know Mrs. Danny knows this by the back of her hand but you know we try to help her in, in peripheral work because I don't know this stuff like she does but we'll help her but it's mainly her task so we'll help her in, uh, in with this or in doing other things, but this is just an example of one of those things that keeps piling on. To say the, the office hasn't changed in all these years, 
it's the duties certainly have and as the district it has grown there's really other than the assistant business administrator we've never hired or added to the uh, to the SAU in the time that I'm aware of and I'm familiar with the SAU long before my tenure of 11 years I used to be the treasurer of both districts before that so I was a little familiar with the bit pre my predecessor and the previous superintendents um, so uh, again uh, you know this I, is just I, the type of thing that if I could add sorry, Mr. B Mr. Bila, why don't you go ahead I'm sorry you had your hand up thank you so my assumption is in making that motion that uh, some helping hands of a uh, an assistant level what I sorry but what I consider kind of secretarial level would help for you know uh, take some of the burden for the you know generating forms and doing basic analysis stuff off of your shoulders and let you get back to the directing the business is that correct Okay, that, so, it does, so it doesn't have to be done solely, kind of work, by a director level person. Correct. I mean, you, you'll see directors doing work that perhaps is administrative assistant work. You'll see it just kind of trickles down. But, you know, I would say, you know, and with all due respect, Mrs. Green, having no clue how to run an SAU, um, you know, basically when we looked, when we got in here and we talked about evaluation where it wasn't happening, comprehensive evaluation, thousands and thousands of hours spent on that investigations right this is Danny here again hour after hour after hour the, the work has I would say even since I started it, it has quadrupled here since 2012 I can't speak for you know Mr. LaSalle and Mr. McDonald before I don't know what they did but you didn't hire a service provider right we're leading the learning here in this and we're running a school district in addition to managing all the nonsense that comes in from other places so that's the reality, and, and we're up to the challenge, but uh, we appreciate the, you know, the request uh, that you're making to give us additional support. Um, I, I know, uh, you know as you go from employee to employee, I'd ask them. Ask them what their workload's like. I know what mine's like. I know what Mr. Sokin is like. Ask them personally. Uh, the workload is, is really, it's really incredible. But um, we appreciate your support. We appreciate you bringing that up. I made a motion. Oh, can we discuss the motions? Well, I need a second, I think. I seconded it for yeah. discussion. We're already in discussion. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed we're the second. We're already in discussion. <laughs> so, so. Yeah, so I'm looking at the overtime line, and I'm looking at salaries here, and thinking that uh, we're not getting, um, we're not going to get somebody at the level I think we need for 28000 plus benefits, plus, plus, plus. So maybe it isn't another body. I don't know, but need to help them out somehow can't be a volunteer mr. Collins so I mean that goes back to my question of you know how much time is it a half FT is a full FTE uh, you know what what are we looking at for budgeting purposes to put the right amount of money into this so that we can provide them with the support that they need 20-hour person is it and maybe is that's that a yeah, question that's to mr. Buell back on the that's a question that I think to mr. Stokinger are you able to answer that question? If Cost of an, an employee? Yes. Um, well, our support staff are running around $40,000 for the average, average support staff, if you will. Um, and Would you the have benefits to certainly add a lot to that. And that's, that's the minimum level. I, I don't want to suggest salary. And is that a full-time, one full-time? Yes. Yeah. So maybe eighty thousand. That would that would cover it. So we could add eighty thousand. A full time. Thirty five benefits. Hour. Yes, and that and you know I mean we'd have to decide at what level. Um, you see a little difference in some people, not not a significant. There's one or two people that that are maybe a little above the average because that's the task we ask them to do. Do we have a desk for them to sit? <laughs> I know you're tight upstairs. <laughs> Well, we recently, um, as you know, we, we, we've downsized the, the operation here in terms of directors. So we, we have space downstairs. We're actually using part of that space right now for a school board room. So when school board members come, we have a space. I know several of you have probably spent some time back here in, in this old suite. So um, we'd be looking at perhaps moving some offices. I'd worked that out with, with uh, Nancy Danahy. 
um, depending on where the help was going to, you know, be used. So if I'd want this person close to Nancy if she was going to be, if this particular person was going to be working closely with Nancy, which mean means some offices moving and someone maybe moving downstairs. Um, but I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. If that was the wishes of the board, we certainly could make that work. Ms. Green, you have a question? Um, so this has been discussed before this meeting, then. Um, Excuse me? I just... I, I, I don't I understand that comment. I, obviously, you were discussing where a new person would be be seated in this building. I find that very interesting, but I'll let that go, please. Um, you should let it go because it's wrong. Again, more more accusations. You, you continually, you not, Mrs. Green, you continually want respect. You need to give it to get it. That's the way it works in this world. I've been nothing but respectful to you, but you continue to be sarcastic and disrespectful. It's very offensive. It makes the work hard. It makes it complicated. It need not be that way, Mrs. Green. I'm not, I don't know why you want it to be that way. I can't answer that question. All I can say is I'd be more than happy to engage in polite and respectful work here at the board level, and I ask you to do the same, please. Okay, so let me ask you respectfully. Did you discuss before this meeting where an extra staff member would be fitted in this office? If I may, that's the only open desk in this office, in this building. And you were sitting in it, I believe, on Monday. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I missed you because I had to step out of the office for a couple hours. That's the only open desk in this office. Thank the you. I, I inferred from the conversation that this was mute, muted before. Anyway.